On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Mickey. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. First day of the 12 days of Christmas. I'm actually going to be making a 12 page scrapbook um, using punches for the 12 days of Christmas, our traditional Christmas song. So, First day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree, so that's what we're going to make. Uh, what I've done here is my tree is going to be made up of scallop punches. I actually have some Kiwi Kiss textured paper along with Kiwi Kiss normal paper and two old olive uh, scallop circles. You're going to need one, um, I used Riding Hood Red half inch circle punch for the bird head, and I used the quarter inch. Um, sorry, one-eighth of an inch circle punch, the handheld punch for the eye, a three-quarter inch circle punch for the bird body. I have two of the horizontal slot punches for branches on our tree and a word window in chocolate chip for the branch on the tree. I use the key tab punch for the trunk of the tree and I actually use the star and I'll show you how I did this, the star punch just to make the bird beak the bird's nest is going to look like this piece and to get this I started with my three quarter inch circle and then I just cut a little arc down here to get the nest and then my bird wing is the half inch circle punch and I cut this um, portion of the circle making an opposite arc going out for the bird wing so you need one of these to create a bird wing so those are the pieces to create the picture of our page and I'll just show you again quickly how I got the beak um, I just used the more mustard cardstock. I took the star punch here and then I just put in the portion of one of the points of the star that I wanted um, the beak to be, like for how long it is. Gave that a punch and then that ended up being my bird beak. So just a nice way to get a good looking uh, triangle there for the beak. So I'll be right back and show you how to assemble our tree. Okay, you're going to have to bear with me because I'm building this upside down to the camera, but we'll figure it out. Uh, whenever I make a punched project, I'm always using my two-way glue pen. So I'm going to two-way glue up my word window as well as my trunk. Uh, and that will be my first piece that I'm going to put on. And I'm going to put my branch on first that I just kind of had coming up my page something like this. Followed by the trunk of my tree. And I'm going to do that just so the key tab, the oval portion of the tree, is actually slightly off the bottom of my page because I'm going to cut that off my 6x6 six six scrapbook page here. So I've got my trunk and I have my branch. And the next part, which may surprise you, is I'm actually going to put on my um, scrapbook page. And this is where my picture is going to go and my journaling can be captured underneath here. So I'll just apply this and it's a 4.5 by 3.5 inch sheet of the um, more mustard cardstock and what I'm going to do is take a picture of either all or one of my kids um, on the first day of our advent starting tomorrow December 1st and um, it'll just journal kind of our lead up to the holidays so what we do tomorrow special is a family for advent so here's our um, journaling or sorry our scrapbook our photo page and now I'm going to apply my two-way glue to the back of my scallop circles that you can see I punched a total scrap piece of paper out of. And what I'm going to do here is just rip a piece of um, actually scrap paper or I'm going to use just a piece of a photo um, package envelope and I'm just going to slip this under here so tomorrow I can peel that off and I can slide my photo underneath. So I've got that on here, and again I'll just two-way glue my five, uh, and it's completely random here. You'll notice there that I just pushed down on the glue pen, and I did that just to get some of the uh, glue to run down the nib of the pen. So again, this is completely random, putting these on the tree, and once I'm kind of happy with the positioning, I'll firm it up and this one's going off the page and I will cut that. Now I had a little one of the horizontal slots I'm just gonna put that on here to make it look like a branch coming out of the tree to glue my nest on. 
but I'm actually going to glue my bird body on first. So I've got my bird body and then I'm just going to glue my nest on over top. And my last horizontal. You'll notice I haven't really pushed all my pieces down just until I'm completely happy. I'll slide my other horizontal piece on here for the other branch sticking out from the other side of the nest. Sorry, you're getting lots of fingers there. And of course, it's not perfect because it's a branch. And I've got my bird head. And you could have your bird head go in either direction. My eyeball, and I will put a little black dot using the um, Stampin' Right journaler on the middle of the eye. My wing. And last but not least, I've got my little beak. I'll just put my glue on there and attach my beak. And you know, I'm sure partridges aren't red, but my book is meant to look kind of country and folkish with the colors I'm picking. And now I have my partridge in a pear tree. I'm just going to peel this off here. So I hope you can join me tomorrow for my two turtle doves. And the rest of the Christmas holidays, of course, we'll get the rest of the song going. But there is my partridge in a pear tree. Thanks for joining me. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Mickey. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and, and a partridge in a pear tree. tree.